Florian is a is a very unorthodox player. Did did you find that part of his game tough tonight? He's not like most players. He, yeah, he played very well. That's true. He played really well. Uh, I didn't. I I felt that I was not playing bad from the baseline, but uh, my return when he was serving the first serve was terrible tonight. I only won four points in whole match with the first serve of him. So we cannot expect win a match when when the opponent is playing well, he is serving well, is doing very good serve and volleys, returning and only winning four points with the with returning the first serve. No? So congratulate him and for me today is Disappointing day. I felt that I did everything right. I, I was in the right line since the week before the U.S. Open. I think I was doing everything right, practicing with good motivation, practicing well in general. I had a good result in the U.S. Open. I had a good result last week. This is today is a tough week, a tough, tough loss. That's. That's the truth. Uh, just gonna congratulate him, and that's it. Just for me today, it's, it's hard to say more things because I felt that I, I was doing everything right before the tournament. Was not my day. I am out of the tournament, and I'm gonna work hard for the next tournament. Rafael, could you compare with the loss of last year at the same stage of the tournament, or is it quite different? Against Melzer? No comparison. Last year I was um, too tired. I came here with not less motivation, because always I went to play well, always I went to have uh, good results, but uh, I came to this tournament with different feeling. This year I came to the tournament with a positive feeling, thinking that I am doing the, the, the right things. Last year I came here and I felt too tired. I felt not really to, to compete at my best. This time I felt like this, and I didn't. And it's, a, it's a, an opportunity lost for me. And to be in the top and to win tournaments I think that cannot happen is or can happen less than well must happen less than, than is not you cannot lose opportunities and I, today I felt uh, I lost an opportunity to have a, a fantastic tournament here and that's the negative part if you are playing bad and you lose it's fine but I My feeling is uh, I, I wasn't, I was playing really good before the tournament. So, yes, for for that reason, the the, the lose is tougher. But that's an sport. <laughs> you win to you lose, and uh, that's part of the game. And that's what makes the the game interesting for for everybody. And just accept the the loss and accept that I have to keep working with the same line for the next two or three months for the next season and hopefully I can start the, the next season with uh, with more power with uh, a few things better and I think I'm in the right line but today was a little bit breaking. But obviously, and before next season, you still have three pretty big mm. events this season. Mm. Um, how, do you, how do you view... You, you, you're not going to play anything, I presume, between now and, and Paris. That's, yeah, Paris, London, Sevilla. Big, big I, matches. I hope so. I, <laughs> I hope so. I, I don't know 
nothing about my calendar yet. The season is being long for me. Uh, and after a positive, very positive season, but at the same time, uh, tough season for me, you know, this kind of loses effects and uh, it's normal. Today is not the best day to think about the rest of the season. Today is the best day to to go to play golf tomorrow morning, to have a, a rest a little bit. I think uh, I don't need rest now, but always will be positive, have a week off, and that's what I gonna I gonna do. Have a week off and keep practicing the same way that I was doing before this event. To try to be ready for Paris, for London. That's what I what I what I gonna do.